hello and welcome to my channel football rounder where i give you reliable football information and please as we go ahead make sure you click on the subscribe button below in this episode we're going to be discussing on the chelsea atletico game where chelsea won and qualified for the quarterfinals after chelsea won two nil and three goals on aggregate um, Olivier Giroud's spectacular overhead kick separated the sides in Bucharest three weeks ago in the first leg, giving Chelsea a valuable one-goal advantage that was added to by Hakim Ziyech in the 34th minute during the opening half. The Blues extended their record of never having been eliminated from a European knockout tie after winning the first leg away from home to 14 games. And frustration got the better of Atletico in the closing stages. Stefan Savage was dismissed for violent conduct in the 81th minute after elbowing Antonio Rudiger as Emerson came off the bench in stoppage time and scored with his very first touch to compete to complete a professional job by the host. It is the first time Chelsea have reached the Champions League last eight in seven years, and they are yet to lose in 13 matches under Thomas Tuchel in all competition, making this now the longest unbeaten start to a tenure by any manager in the club's history of attacking Luis Scolari um, in the 12 games of 2008. Atletico failed to manage a single shot on target in the first leg, but it took them less than four minutes to test Edward Mendy for the first time on Wednesday, but Renan Lodi's effort was comfortably gathered. Chelsea did a good job of nullifying their opponents, but were fortunate not to concede a penalty after 23 minutes. Cesar Palaqueta intercepted Luis Suarez's true ball, but his back pass to Mendy was undercooked as the Blues captain subsequently appeared to impede Yannick Carrasco inside the box with an outstretched arm. Referee Daniel Orsato was unmoved despite the vocal protest while the incident was not referred to VAR Massimilaros Irati. Chelsea took full advantage of the reprieved 11 minutes later to stretch the lead through the edge. The Morocco forward converted from Timo Werner's cross after the German star had crafted hard to launch the attack in the first place. Werner sprinted wide to block Kieran Trippers attempted cross after a free kick with Guy in Havertz slashing onto the loose ball and sending it back into Werner's path. The former RB Leipzig hitman raced away and kept his cool to fit Ziyech at the far post who slotted home for his first goal in 20 matches for Chelsea. Diego Simeone wasted no time in seeking solutions at the interval hauling off the hapless Lodi but his replacement Mario Hamoso fared no better against the Morundian Reese James. Chelsea had their opponents at arm length, defending from the front as Ziyech took James's path, pass and saw a calling shot tipped over by John Oblak. Suarez had cut an isolated figure kept by Bay by Rudiger as he was hooked on the arm mark and replaced by Angel Correa, Simeone's third change, but it failed to swing the momentum in Atletico's favour. There, uh, there were now spaces for Chelsea to exploit on the counter as Werner raced down the left and had Havertz in support, but he's, he went solo, firing wide of the angle of post and crossbar. It wasn't until the 76th minute that Mendy was drawn into action in the second half as Marcos Lorente found Jao Felix, but the shot was fired out. With an impressive Golon Kante, there is there to sweep the clearance to safety. Chelsea managed the clock, you know, but Atletico won a corner as another Felix shot deflected over. Savage went forward from defense and stood on Rudiger, an elbow on the ribs of the German center back in sight of the free. Osato brought an immediate red card and with it went Atletico's chances of progressing. Um, Tuchel looked to his bench in the closing stages and three substitutes went. You know, involved in the fitting final flourish of Callum Hudson Odoi and Christian Pulisic combined to feed Emerson, who finished clinically to the left of Oblak. Chelsea joined Manchester City and Liverpool in Friday's drawing, meaning three of the last eight are from England. Having rolled the dice with a managerial change, you wonder if this could be 2012 all over again for the Blues. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and please to ensure you stay updated with every latest piece of development in the football world. Make sure you click on the subscribe button if you haven't, if you are new to my channel, because here on Football Round, we give you the best content.